Hey guys, this is Pal the Eggnogger, and um, today's topic what I'm going to talk to you about is okay. It's what happened today. Um, <clears throat> I have a video of it, but it's not a very long video. It's a very short one. It's retaining towards a bike that got stolen. So in this video, it's just going to be me talking about the description of the bike, what I've noticed the changes, and and um, what I've noticed uh, where I approached it and knew right away it was my bike. So just if you can pay close attention to what I'm trying to say in the video, but if you can't, I'll give a thorough explanation at the end of the video. So here's the video. Well, Bella, finally found my bike. They just replaced the seats. I recognize every little detail of it. And I will put the shit on YouTube. So, yeah. You find your bike. I should have put the flashlight on, but. Yeah. That's exactly mine. I know exactly. And then get it. Got, got my red cap, the tires, I know that, they changed this, this is my, I put the reflector there, this little cap right here, you can't even see shit, but they took off the light, Rachel, get over here. Yeah. that exactly is mine, this, this shit is everything in mine, and I finally find it out of nowhere at H-E-B. They took it off your thing. Bella. I could take this back right now if I could, if I just had to put you the damn lock. That's the person. Oh, I think I know what to do now. What? Alright guys, I know the video wasn't full exp explained to you, so what I'm going to give you is a walkthrough of what happened after I recorded that video. What happened is where when I noticed the bike and I looked through it, as you saw from the video, I literally stood there right next to the bike. Waiting for the guy to show up or a lady, I don't care what gender, who it was or anything. I just stood there, waited till that person showed up. And a girl, two girls showed up on the shopping cart because it was at HEB local store. Um, so they, they came approaching to me and they stopped. So I asked them, is this your bike or you know who bike this is? And they didn't have no clue at all. So, okay, I let them be whatever. They, they left. And then after a short while, that's when a guy showed up coming towards the um, the bike. And when he was, when he was about to unlock the bike, <clears throat> I confronted him about it and asked him about where did he get the bike, if, you know, stuff like that, who, who gave it to him and whatnot, and so on and so on. And he said he, was, he would um, literally get a hold of his friend that gave him the bike. And I told him, okay, yeah, get him over here. I don't care more than Mary. I don't care who he brings. I said, I want to get this going on. You know, what's going on? How do you got it? I mean, I know they're friends, so they're going to be on each other's back of it. So, you know, they're going to have, you know, they're going to be right there where they're going to be in denial. So, and what well, friends are going to rat each other's friends out, right? So, um, <clears throat> he gave me a, a text on his phone. He showed it to me. Terrifying the date that he got the text from his friend back and forth stating about wanting the bike, so and so. It was this year on March. And he told me before he showed me the text on his phone that he had it at least a year or almost a year. Yeah, okay, that doesn't match up the year what when he told me the date on the phone. So, okay, yeah, and he started asking me questions about it, you know, making me think that. I wasn't sure what I was saying or it was going off and on, off and on about like, I was just making up stories. I was just making up a theory, stuff like that. And he was just really proclaiming that it was his bike so bad to where he wanted to make it so believable. And instead of calling his friend, like he said he was going to, which he didn't, he decided to call the superintendent or the manager at the HB and that manager decided to call the security cop that patrols the parking lot and everything they he caught well they both came around and then he goes that yeah i called him because i don't want to make it worse and something happens or whatever i want you know 
be on the same side. Yeah, well, I don't care. But yeah, uh, so we started going back and forth talking about it, this and that. You know, who really owns it, what happened, and so and so. So we're going back and forth about it. And every word that was coming out of that kid's mouth was pissing me the hell off so bad. I literally want to just punch the shit out of him. But I had to refrain myself so bad. It was it was hard though. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's a feeling that you 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 just can't grasp that much to where you really want to do something, but you can't because you don't want to make it worse on yourself. I mean, yeah, over a bike, but think about it. It's a sentimental bike that you have for years. So and seeing it on somebody's hands that's not supposed to be in their hands. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. So, yeah, so long story short, it was not proof enough. Even though I showed the cop a picture of me on the damn bike, really, photo speaks louder than words or, or, or writing. It's a photo. But that didn't go through. It was not proof enough, whatever. It, it's literally look, the bike and matches the photo, me on the damn bike. Stupid. So they let that kid go. Riding my bike, and just ride, seeing him running along down the road, that just got me more pissed off from that point. So you know what? They, they can't do anything about it because I, I didn't report that they got stolen. Who the hell want to spend a damn time looking for a bike when the cops got more better things to do? Stupid. Why well, think I didn't want to bother with that shit? I'm gonna have to handle this shit on my own, or you know, anything that like, matter. But like I said, their day will come. Then it gets sloppy, and you know, shit's gonna get stolen from something that was never even there to begin with. So, um, yeah, but that's what happened, and that's. I've been trying to calm down coming home from over there. So it's it's something where uh, I didn't want to happen, but it happened. Yeah, <sighs> sucks. Just by thinking about it. Oh well. Well, I just thought I'd share this with you guys about what happened that night. <sighs> um, I'm sorry, it wasn't good quality. But it was dark and I didn't have my flash on my phone. But hope you got what what uh what I'm trying to you know explain to you guys why I was trying to do the video. So so all right guys um I don't want to hold up too much of your time. So stay tuned to my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll check you guys on my next video. See you guys.